Hello people, welcome to another video. I'm only gonna be posting videos every Sunday, every two weeks. I know that I should be posting every week, but I'm unfortunately not having enough content. And I'm not always at the place where my ants are. I hope you enjoy another update on my Invictia. It has been almost a month and I think they deserve an update. Don't you? And all I really have to say is they are getting massive. I don't feed them a lot. I do feed them, but not like crazy. But still, they are growing at a humongous rate. Every week when I look at them, I cannot believe my eyes. It's fascinating seeing all I can see. I've seen with other people who keep Invictia, they normally put dirt on the glass, but mine have so much brood that, can't, that they can't even put like dirt on the glass. I'm hoping to give them an upgrade soon. Right now, I'm just really scared because one, I take off their nest, they're gonna flood out. I just wanna say that you should not try what I try in the future. Most of the stuff I do with this colony can be dangerous for myself and the ecosystem. Invictia has already terrorized the South, so I don't want to make it any worse in the South, but I'm not moving them in this video. So get your hopes down. Today, I'm showing you what they have done since the last time we took a look at them. One thing I haven't seen for a while is the queen. There are so many workers now that I can't see that beautiful beauty. I probably will never see her again, but I will always know she is there, hopefully. Because if she's not, then there's gonna be a problem. A lot of people who are in one of the Discord servers I'm in always ask me, what do you feed them? And I said, at this point, if I fed them feeder insects, I'd be wasting $20 a week. This colony is very protein hungry, so I just give them meat and my house and almonds and all kinds of things that they will eat. I found that with Invictia, they don't have a problem eating whatever you give them. Well, I'm going to change the subject. Ankai asked a very good question for my last fire ant update, and I'm going to answer it. What do you say to people who are starting off with Invictia? Well, um, people who are starting off with Invictia are, are stupid. No offense, it has nothing to do with you, but it's everything to do with the species of ant. Normally, beginners are not prepared for the future. They only think about right now. So they normally don't think, oh, right now I have a test tube, that's all I need. That's what the YouTube video said. So when their colony gets too big, they have nowhere to put it, and so they let it go. One, this is very bad for the environment, since they are an invasive species. And two, that colony in the future could kill species you might want to keep. So for beginners, the last thing I would recommend is Invictia. Get some, something like Laceus, Campanatus, Fidoli. Just get something that's native and you should be fine. Because if you don't want have space for that species anymore, or if you don't want it, you can just let it go. Easy as that. So I think this video is pretty long. Not really, but... So I hope you enjoyed, and if you want another Invictia update, you should like, subscribe, and comment any questions about Invictia. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!